Can I turn this into this? Let's find out. This is a Zoo Med tortoise house, and I want to use it to make an outdoor enclosure for my bearded dragon. First step, a bunch of measurements. Now that I have all the pieces cut, we can get to building. So the plan is to use these one by twos to make a cage that will sit on top of the tortoise house. I'm using angle brackets in each of the corners to attach the wood together to build the frame for the cage. I use a self-centering drill bit to drill pilot holes for each of the screws and screw the brackets down. I decided to put a little chamfer on each of the door pieces so that they fit in the frame better so I ran them through the table saw with the blade tilted. I roll some chicken wire out on the frame and attach it with staples. I'm going to use the chamfered pieces I cut as the inside of the door. I pre-drill and screw them down. This will cover up the sharp edge of the chicken wire as well as the staples. We can use the hardware that came with the tortoise house to finish building the door. I also use the latches from the tortoise house. Now we have a fully functional door. Now we can build the other sides of the enclosure in the same manner. I'm going to use these angle brackets screwed down to the tortoise house to attach the walls of the cage. Because on the door side, the bottom frame is only actually one 1x2 one thick. I added these blocks to allow me to use the brackets to mount the door. Now that the front and the back of the cage are secured with the brackets, I can add the two sides by attaching the sides to the front and back. So I pre-drill through the back into the side. That way I can screw the back and the side together and everything holds very securely. I'm going to use the lid that came with the tortoise house for the top of the cage, but I'm going to add some chicken wire to the top just to make it a little extra secure.
Now just screw down the top to cover up that chicken wire edge and lock everything together. Here it is, it looks great, doesn't it? But I made a critical error. So I mistakenly used cedar wood to build this enclosure. And cedar is very toxic to reptiles. And I didn't realize that until after I finished building the cage. So to keep my lizard safe, I need to take it all apart and redo it. One benefit to having to build this a second time is I can make some modifications that I think will make the enclosure even better. And that modification would be that I think the sides of the tortoise house are just a little too high. So I want to remove part of it so I can shorten it so it'll work better for a lizard. Make sure to not cut through the bottom of the box. So I need to modify these pieces to make the sides of the enclosure shorter. We're going to reuse the pieces though, so cut the piece of plywood shorter so that it'll fit. And now we'll cut down the end rail. You'll see here that this piece has mortises, so we'll have to cut new ones. So I lay them out on the new piece. And just use a router quick to knock out these mortises. And apparently filming the router that close to the camera knocked out my in-camera sound. So for the rest of the video, we'll just have voiceover. Now that we have all of the pieces modified, we can assemble the side of the enclosure. Place the thin piece of plywood down in the groove and then slide all the mortises together. And look at that, it all fits, and now we have a short inside to our enclosure. Now I'll need to modify the front of the tortoise house the same way. But instead of new mortises, I'll have to make new tenons. So I measure the existing ones and transfer those measurements over to the cut pieces. I think these shortened sides work much better for a lizard. Now I'm going to rebuild the enclosure, but this time use oak instead of cedar.
some pieces of wood to create a backstop for the door so it doesn't swing in. So because I cut through the sides of the enclosure, I'm adding these extra brackets just to lock everything together and give it a little extra structure. Let's finally get this set up for my bearded dragon. I wanted to build this enclosure cart, so I had a way to bring my bearded dragon and tortoise outside during the nice warm summer months for a few hours to catch some of that nice natural sun. These aren't intended to be permanent outdoor enclosures, that's why they're built on a cart so I can wheel them away when I'm not using them. And here it is, Pickle now has an easy to move outside enclosure that she can soak up all the natural sun she wants. And we can't forget about little Herbert getting his outside enclosure too. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss the next video. And here it is, the ultimate reptile mobile enclosure. If you'd like to see how I built this cart, link is in the description for that video too.